Hey y'all, happy holidays. So today we're working with Allie Pearl Hair. They sent me over this P18 slash 613 highlight blonde wig. This is a 24 inch 13 by four transparent lace straight 200% density wig. It comes with three combs in the inside and an adjustable strap. We are back with my girl Nisha. So all we did off camera with this wig was washed it with some purple shampoo and um, conditioned it with our silicone mix and then just plucked it. Now we're gonna take our Ruby Kisses Level 16, the lightest shade in the palette, and we're just gonna apply that um, on the bottom and top of the lace. Being that this is transparent lace, it is thicker than HG lace, so we wanna make sure that it blends in with her skin tone very well. And after I apply the makeup, I'm gonna spray free spray on it and dry it with my blow dryer just to combat um, oiliness so that the wig can stay secure for however long she wants to keep it on. So now we're going to position this wig on her head. This wig was a little too small for her head, so we had to cut some slits up around the ear, but we still made it work in the end. I'm also going to make sure that I sew this wig down using blonde thread, being that it is a blonde wig. You don't want to sew it down with black thread because just in case the wind blows, you don't want to see black thread. So I try to always sew it down with thread that will closely match the color as closely as possible. For dark colors, I use black. For blonde or gray, I'm typically going to use blonde thread. Um, but that's just a personal preference. But, you know, those little details, they matter. Now I'm just smoothing back my glue. We're gonna be applying four layers today, but I only apply one off camera. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply another one. And then we're gonna come back and lay that lace down once that last layer is clear. Our last layer has turned clear, so now we're gonna proceed to lay that lace down. And then after we secure it to the skin, we're gonna tie it down using our ultimate melt band from the BH Slave for about 10 minutes.
Her 10 minutes are up, so now it's time to cut off the excess lace. And now I'm just gonna apply the makeup as needed. Be very careful when you're doing blonde or very light colored wigs. Cause when you tap that brush on that lace, it can transfer onto the hair and it can make your hairline look very weird even though you did everything correctly. So be very careful and just really just try to get that makeup on the edge of the lace and not on the hair. Cause as you can see, I almost made, well I kinda did make the hairline look a little weird, but you know, I just be finesse and stuff, but yeah, be very careful with applying that makeup, you know, after you've got the lace off on light color wigs because it can definitely go wrong very quickly. So now we're just gonna lay our middle part in and we're gonna use our red tail comb, our um, wax stick and our hot comb just to lay everything down after we get our part in there. And then we're gonna spray her hairline with our Hair Flex hairspray just to start melting that lace in. As you can see now, it already looks good, but we really wanna get that thing like in there. So that's what we're gonna do. So for my beach waves today, I'm just gonna cut the hair into some simple layers. I'm just gonna use her chin as a guy and take my razor comb and just go diagonally downward. Um, and that's all the layers that we do. We're just gonna do outer layers today, no interior layers. We're just cutting the hair and basically like a V shape. So you know, when the beach waves fall, it just gives a natural flow. And being that with beach waves, the ends are left out of the curling iron, so that means that they're gonna be straight. We don't want them to be puffy, so we're going to press the ends of this wig 
um this just gives a more polished look you don't want to press the entire wig or you don't have to press the entire wig because we could use some of that uh that density and that fluffiness to you know make sure our curls hold because you know if you straighten the whole wig and try to curl it it's gonna be you know very cute but it's not gonna hold a curl for a while so we're gonna leave some of that texture you know and thickness in the top we just need to flat iron the bottom you know where the ends are going to be left out at and i like to do this after i've cut the hair because you know if you just only press the ends and then you go cut those same ends off when you do your layers you know you just kind of wasted your time so i like to cut the hair first in the blow dry state and then press the ends out and then we're going to start curling after this and like i said this is just to ensure that you have a nice polished look So now I'm taking my T3 1.25 inch single pass curling iron and we're just going to do a regular curl, but we're just going to leave about, uh, I would say like what, three inches off the curling iron. Uh, we're not going to curl all the way to the bottom, so leave three inches out. And I like to twirl it around the iron when I'm releasing it. Um, I don't know why I do that. In my head, it just makes a beach wave, you know, look like a beach wave instead of a curl. So that's why I do that. Um... But yeah, just watch.
can do anything we you do, they must comment it. I can't come and see myself. So anything we have to do, I just have to do so I'm good. I can't come and see myself. Plenty, plenty, plenty so far we be based. Just to make some money. Yeah. But my people, they don't say I love one guy. I know one guy. And after I get done curling each side, I like to spray it liberally with my Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. And y'all, I sprayed this hair down, honey. I was not playing. Don't be afraid of that hairspray, honey. And then after we finish curling both sides, we're going to take the elastic band off. And then off camera, I just combed out her beach waves and added a little fishtail. And this is the final look. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You can get the same exact way from Ali Pearl. The link is in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those notification bells. Goodbye.